Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again, and for the very first time to the Farts and Crap Show, where today, as per usual, it's your host, Anjo, here with part 49 of Pokemon Black Randomized Nuzlocke. Hope you guys are all doing well, and we got our Pokemon healed. Everybody is at least level 40 now, so that's good. And, uh, yeah, I think it's time to either go talk to Iris and see what she wants, or, damn it. Once again, forgot to buy waters. Alright, turbo button. There we go, We're just gonna do this for a little bit. But yeah, hope you guys are having a good day. Um, what should I talk about while I buy waters? Uh... Stuff. Yeah, so, um... I'm baking in some chicken tenderloins right now in the oven. And, uh... I, I just like having them. Like, we... Always, like, keep some, like, sliced chicken tenderloins, like, in the fridge. Um, and it's great just to have, like, a bunch of, like, fresh ingredients for, like, uh, Jade likes to do, like, chicken salads, I, so I, like, you know, cut a bunch of, like, veggies and stuff as well, so, like, we've, we always have, like, fresh vegetables, uh, just, like, ready to go, um, And uh, another thing I love to make that uh, I've talked about real fast in another episode was uh, ramen. Like, I love making ramen. And uh, not like top ramen, like, like good ramen. And then... Like, not just the noodles, but, like, you know, like, once it's, uh, done and, like, the, like, the soup base, broth or whatever is still, like, almost boiling. You know, throw in, like, the sliced chicken and, like, onions and cabbage, and then kind of, like, flip the noodles. Like, go into the bottom, because you just throw all that on top. And uh, you do like chicken, then onions, then the cabbage. And then yeah, you dig down in the bottom of the bowl and like pull the noodles up and around so they're on top and the other stuff's on the bottom. And you just kind of let it sit for like a good like five minutes, maybe ten. And uh, it'll cool down quite a bit, obviously. But it'll also, like, seep. Like, with the other, that should be enough. Um, okay. Uh, with the other ingredients, and it changes the flavor of the broth. Um, and it's super good. Because, like, um... There's a type of ingredients, like kind of a, in like cooking terms, for, okay, I got 41, nice, um, called aromatics, I believe, I think that's what they're called, um, and basically, there are ingredients that help with like complementary flavors or like bring out an aroma for certain dishes. Um, so like the two most common ones are like garlic and, and onions. And um, oh, that's the other thing I was gonna say too. Uh, hoisin sauce. Hoisin. And I, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, poison sauce is like this, 
it's like black. It's not quite as thick as molasses, but kind of the same color and texture, sort of. It's like black, thick, and kind of... It's not that thick, but it, it's pretty thick for a sauce. Um, and you typically see it in like uh, ramen or pho or something like that. Um, like noodle soup kind of dishes. Um, so like, it's really good too in like the ramen to like, um, like when you put the soup base in. Like also, like I add some like powdered garlic to it as well, and some hoisin before even like, uh, like heating the water and stuff. And so it just all comes together um, in a very satisfying way. And if I'm in the mood for spicy, like. Um, like chili sauce instead of hoisin, or even both sometimes. It's really good. And uh, one thing about ramen is ramen almost always has like pretty high sodium in it. But like if you do it right, it's pretty much all in the broth. So like if you're trying to cut down sodium, Maybe adjust the broth a little bit, or just don't drink the broth once you're done with it. And I know, it's so delicious. But it's basically liquid salt. <laughs> like, pretty much. Um, so yeah, that's uh, if you want to enjoy ramen more frequently, but then you're like, uh, all the sodium, just dump the broth once you're done with the ramen. Like, that's my recommendation, but... Um, yeah, ramen is fucking delicious. I love it. Like, the noodles themselves, like, they're really good for you. And, um, you know, fresh veggies, obviously, and, like, lean cut chicken and stuff like that. Like, really, the only thing that's not super healthy is all the sodium. So, that's pretty much it. Join our team. Actually, I'll force you to join our team. Is your team a gang by chance? Another Panseer, what the hell? Are they fans of Panseer because it's got like a little curly cue like pompadour thing? And they're trying to be what do they, they call them? Back in the day? Greasers. Greasers. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's probably why the movie's called Grease. Ah. And Fire Blast, dude. This is no joke. Oh, and you burned me? Oh. Do you really wanna burn me? Do you really wanna make me cry? So new trainer is Quincy. Alright. Should I waste a full heal and a water or should I just like Yeah. It's not really a waste. Like, we have. How much? Can... Almost 200k. Yeah, we are fine on the money. So. Uh... There we go. Because I was just like, oh yeah, there's two trainers I skipped back here. So. May as well go back and finish them up real quick. Oh, you have a Snivy? Bastard. So, yeah, I was doing the Nuzlocke and I went through the grass here and 
Boom, Snivy. Like, <laughs> can you believe it? I would evolve it, but you know, he's just so damn cute. Asshole. Um... Yeah, Gappage. he naturally learns in like one of the best grass type moves. I think he was also introduced in this generation. I'm not mistaken. Might have been Gen 4, but I think it was this game. Damn it. I already did a Poke Fact of the Day on. Superior, right? That was like episode one. Yeah. In the first episode. So yeah, we're not gonna do a poke fact of the day on Snivy since I've already done that line. But alright, let's go back. I fought all the other trainers back there, so. I just wanna check the map real quick. Challenger's kit. Oh, no, 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 that's the one where he's like, I can't, like, you know, blah, blah, blah. More, yeah, we went there. It's probably, yeah, we went there, Celestial Tower. Rail yard where trains park for, what? And the hill? How the hell are you supposed to get out there? Yeah, we already did that. This did we do that one? I think so. Relic Castle. Just checking Pignal Forest. The pool grew from rainwater so can you have okay. Yeah, we did the dream yard. P2 Laboratory is a little bit of secret. Quiet little island. I'm probably gonna go there later. Is it difficult to surf? I don't remember a way to go west from the main, the beginning town. Was there what? Maybe. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna fly back to the hometown real quick and see if there's a water that we can surf on. Cause I'm fairly sure Route 17 is nah, brand new. I don't think I've caught anything over there. Yeah, we're kind of running out of routes, unfortunately. Uh, we got 16. But yeah, no 17. Alright. Oh, man, there's like a fence and... And the water's sparkly. Is there a thing like up here? Like off to the side? So can I just use like a, a repel? This is still part of route, what, one, right? Still route one. 
just remember if I'm gonna do that in a moment, Rachel. Are you gonna be like really weak? Because I could have came back and done this a long time ago. No, it's actually about the same as what I've been encountering. 35, yeah. Alright. That's, uh, that's not disappointing. Uh, Gabbage, you can take this one. I mean, I guess I could let Nancy take this too, but... Hmm, either one. Nice. Magneton. Yeah, I'll let Nancy take this. I already determined Magneton does not have Levitate, so... Alright, here it goes. Bye-bye. they all give you a berry when they're done with battle. Is this still Route 1? Damn it. Are you a fisher, or what are you doing? Fuck, there's an item up there. Soda pop, damn it. up here. I'll let Louise take it. How about that? Or Pickles either. Well, Pickles would resist the fire. Louise would resist the dark. So either one really. chose correctly and he's got speed boost. Nah, that's not great. This is Route 1. Nice. Fuck yeah, dude. Route 17. Rapidly flowing water. Okay. Can do. Looks like some shallows right here. Mm-hmm. Honestly, this reminds me a lot of uh, Gen 3 and Ruby Sapphire and Emerald. Super 
Sniper Fang, that's pretty good. Cuts HP by half, right? Mm-hmm. It's got 90 accuracy, though. Not really my favorite. Now, it looks like this route is, like, all water, so I'm just gonna... Oh, hold on. I should probably put Pickles up front. Just because Pickles has Spore. But I also have some Quick Balls, so... Alright, what do we got? Damn it. Fucking Ledian. Level 10 Ledian? I mean, it's not the worst for a bug type, but... I can't even hit this thing. Oh wait, I have a ball for that, right? Uh... Nest ball? I don't have nest balls. hoping it'd be something good, but no. Ledian. Did we get to Route 11? No, we haven't done Route 11. This one was 17. Ledian. Five star Pokemon. Use starlight as energy when more stars appear at night, the pattern on the back grow larger. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna call him. direction. I mean, there's Route 18. If we keep going in this direction. Dumb sparse. There is a Pokemon I forget about frequently. You know, I should do a quick fact of the day on Dunsparce. I know for a fact I haven't done one yet. And there might be some interesting Pokedex entries for it. What is Dunsparce anyway? Electric? Or is he normal? He's just normal, okay. Funny, he's known as the land snake Pokemon. But it looks like uh, Dunsparce has like little wings, you know? And we're encountering this like. Well, it's a trainer, but. Still on the water. Um, spore, I guess, and then I'll switch to Louise and just bam. Smack the shit out of it. Don't surprise, it's pretty cute though. Mm, yeah, just drain punch. I could use some HP.
Pidgeot. Yeah, I'm gonna switch. Fucking, I guess, Nancy, since I still don't have an electric type. Which would be nice. Just saying. Damn, that's a cool sprite for Pidgeot. Um, uh, yeah, just Rock Slide. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Oh, Swords Dance. Yeah, I'm keeping that. Ha fuck. What am I supposed to get rid of? Metal Claw? No. Dig? Rather not. I don't want to get rid of Rock Slide though. I mean, I guess I could get rid of Metal Claw, but. but it's stab like and it's steel I know like I have another steel type in my party but like what don't take swords dance like Like, these are all physical moves, and like, three different types, two of which are stab. Like, you could put an enemy to sleep, switch into Nancy, do sword dance like twice, and then start just wrecking everything. I have to get rid of Dig. I have to. Good move set though. Sucks my special defense is so bad. Wait, did the repel wear off? Yeah, it must wear off. I don't give a shit about this lady, I'm just just wrong. Like, it, it makes me feel a little bit better that, like, apparently Ledian is, like, the common encounter here. Yeah, I'm gonna put Stompers back up front and Louise on deck. I just like to have my Pokemon organized by level, you know? So, like, I know who to work on. I don't like good points in my uh, more mode than this one in Pokemon. I'll show off its strength! Damn! Psychic type, so. Huh? Alright. Gonna put in Cactar then. on special I believe I'm gonna arbitrarily guess this one I 
just gonna put a... Wait, did it? Okay. This goes all the way back. Shit. Leaf stone, that's pretty tight. Wait, did I need... I think I needed a leaf stone for somebody. Right? Or a water stone? Oh, because I have a polyworld, right? I was like, dude, if I could get a Politoed, that'd be awesome. This is not great. Blow Punch, super effective. Why is that not super effective? Wait, does water resist steel? because the ice and the water and I don't want to throw in Cactar because the ice type. I can throw in Louise. Fighting would definitely be super effective. Okay, put itself to sleep. That's fine. Totally fine. Oh, Quagsire. Yeah, easy. Cactar. For singing. Um, it's kind of appropriate, you know? Fighting a bunch of water types here on, on the ocean. There we go. And it is about time to get going, but. This is Route 18. Oh, still 17? If I look down from my high place, I feel very good. Pokemon battles are the same. I'll fight looking down from the heights. Okay. Pokemons, alright. I mean, plus all is kind of pushover, so. Either one, really, just gonna use confusion. Lower his attack? Special defense, ooh, that's not good. Gonna not be very good. Yeah. Some 
try to get you. Yeah, I'll switch. It almost had a Zeb Strega too. Hmm. Earthquake. And the earth was shaking many years. It shall be all night long. Happy now, yo. Alright. What do we got here? We want a bit tired? Oh yeah, yeah, heal him up. Thank you. Appreciate that. We want so energetic. And if you can honestly decide to trust the egg in front of the relic castle. Yeah. Fuck. Do you, is this a PC? Can I use this? Something cool stuff. worth your while. something cool for me. What? Relic stuff? I don't know what you're talking about, man. I, I think he's one of the maniacs? Is it mushrooms? Do you want the bomb mushroom I have? Okay. Damn it, she wants to give me an egg. Ugh. I need to find a PC, okay? Like, I need to deposit one of my Pokemon so I can grab this egg. Steel type, um, cabbage. episode. Hey, hey, I was just talking about that guy. The previous episode. We did the book fact of the day on him. Although he is part bug, I should probably not Uh, four times weak to fire, though. Jeez. 
of repeat items. Wait, didn't it show there's an item down there? There's an item down there. Waterfall? Do I need it? Is it, like, required in this game? Because that was also in Gen 3 where you needed Waterfall before you could go to the Victory Road. This is all still the same route. She's like, I will. This is the same route still, though, huh? A berry. Awesome. Still the same route. Alright, I'm gonna see what this guy's about. Damn it. Turning clockwise. Four times weak to psychic, so this is a great matchup. That's fine, whatever. Mm. Good luck with that.
Hmm. Okay, now it's different. I was gonna say, this uh, sounds a lot like the outro music in Dragon Ball. But no. This is just the first part, apparently. Alright guys, I'm going to figure this out in the next episode. Thank you all for being here. I greatly appreciate it. And, of course, a very special thank you going out... No, 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 before that, it's time for the Poke Fact of the Day. Today's is all about... Sigilyph? Is how I've always said it. Now that I think about it, it's probably Sigilyph. The Avianoid. Avianoid? Avianoid Pokemon. Um, and the interesting Pokedex entry for this guy comes from Pokemon Shield once again, where it says a discovery was made in the desert where Sigilyph fly. The ruins of what may have been an ancient city were found beneath the sands. I thought this was interesting because in Pokemon Shield, uh, Sigilyphs can be found in the stony wilderness part of the wild area, which I believe is just south of Motostoke? Or Hammer... Something. But yeah, it's it's a desert area. And there's like ruins and stuff. And I just thought that was cool. I was like, huh. I never really considered that to be of any significance. Just like you know. Kind of a throwaway detail. And like a way to put a desert in like the main wild area but no there's like some extra lore there and I was like oh that's cool I don't think they ever mentioned that in the game and uh, it's actually this is actually just coming to me I didn't prepare anything like this but uh, the coffin Pokemon I forget how you say his name um, but yeah you can evolve him in like a unique way there because there's like a Galarian variant or something so like again like and with things that have been long dead uh, it's kind of cool it's kind of neat so a little detail but yeah thank you all for being here and a very special thank you going out to the current Farts and Craps show members which at the time of recording this is just Novalis Draconis but if you want to be incredibly awesome like Novalis Draconis, uh, check out the join button down below. Tier start at three bucks a month if you guys want to get into all the membership perks and stuff. But uh, totally optional. Just, yeah. Just appreciate you guys being here. But yeah, until next time, take care and I hope you all have a wonderful day.